Oh no, how do I stop it? <laughs> After months of staring at the buildup of grime and mold on the deck of our boat, I decided it was finally time to give Lee Hawk a deep, deep scrub. For those of you who don't know, a little over a year ago, we bought this boat super cheap and have slowly been bringing her back to life. There were so many other pressing issues with everything from engine servicing, new fuel tanks, winch repair, leaky hatches, and everything else that we've largely been ignoring all the cosmetic work that we could lean into. Matt briefly tried to clean the deck with green sauce enzyme when we first got the boat, but gave up and moved on to other projects. While I finally had some time off, I decided to see if I could scrub those decks into submission. Between the thousands of internet forum posts and the many sailors of our marina that knocked on the boat to kindly give me some suggestions of what to try, there are a lot of ideas on what's the best way to clean your hull. So this now I'm gonna dive into, show you everything I tried and what worked best. So I originally tried boat cleaners boat washes, boat cleaners, different things recommended from different people and West Marine. Um, but I just couldn't get those mold and mildew stains out of the pull of the boat. I decided to try all sorts of products, including the highest recommended, which was Tylex uh, mold and mildew. We also tried outdoor bleach, the pink stuff, bathroom scrubbing bubbles, bartender's friend, CLR mold and mildew, of course, 100% acetone. That was probably number two on the recommended list. And you know, my favorite for whites in our house, OxyClean. I applied a sample of each to the deck, scrub them in, let them sit. And there wasn't a super obvious singular winner, though I would say OxyClean looked like it did the best job, only beating out slightly Bartender's Friend. I think everybody was a little confused in the marina on why I had a bin of OxyClean on the boat. I have had a lot of luck using OxyClean and um, the peroxide base has, has made it less toxic. I know, I know some of these are pretty toxic, but at no point did I rinse any of this over the side of the boat. Anyways, that is why I gave this OxyClean Whites try. Um, and sure enough, my tried and true, my Windex of all. Put some Windex on. Oh, God, please. OxyClean pulled through for me. I sprinkled a bit of the dry crystals directly onto the deck, added a sprinkle of water, just enough to become a paste. Then we take a brush or scotch brite pad and scrub, and scrub, and scrub, and scrub. This became a huge pain in the I let the paste sit on the deck and dry, hoping the prolonged exposure would increase the cleaning power. The dried paste detergent would just kind of cake into a white crust on the top of the deck. And once it had sat a while, I'd go back with a wet rag and a scrub brush and slowly remove the cleaning solution from the deck. I realized pretty quickly that scrubbing manually was really gonna suck. So I decided to trade in the scrub brush for a scrub brush drill. It was a brilliant move on my part. And while it didn't really make the work go any faster, it definitely gave my arms and back a break. It was slow going because I was wiping away all the excess with a rag, wringing out the excess into a Home Depot bucket, getting fresh water, rinse and repeat inch by inch. I did all this work on days that I knew Matt wasn't going to be dropping into the boat. I was really excited to surprise him. So Jillian's been working on something that I'm just now seeing for the first time. So let's see, uh, let's see what she's been up to. Oh, someone's been painting. No. No, I know, that's what everybody thinks I'm doing. Look at that side. Wow, look at that. So much cleaner. Yeah. That's incredible. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, what a difference. What a difference. What have you been using? Oxyclean. The results were way better than I expected. It actually brought Lee Hawk's deck almost back to white. So I was pretty, pretty impressed and thrilled with how this was turning out. I have a good lady over here. Once I'd cleaned the deck, we wanted to keep on polishing up our old lady. So we decided to oil all the teak tow rails. You need to prep the teak first, so Mac got busy working on that. 
All right, we're gonna back on the boat and we're gonna do a little cleaning today and prep for some Penafin marine oil. So we're gonna use some Penafin first step prep. I've used this before on another piece on a basically the block that holds one of the winches. And <clears throat> I was pretty impressed with how it worked. We're gonna clean some wood today and prep it, let it dry, and then uh, apply some oil later on. And we'll see how it goes. Got a bunch of grime built up here on the edge. It looks like this ratio is more or less about one to eight. So I'm gonna put in about an eighth into this cup and, uh, and see if we can't fill it up. Let me get in there. That's about right. All right, let's stir it up and see if we can get this to dissolve nicely. And then we will go ahead and just brush it on. We're gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna rinse it off. And then after that, we let all the wood that we applied this uh, Penafin prep to, uh, to dry for about 24 hours. And then we'll come back and we'll do some oil. Like a light water solution it goes on really just like water. Don't know if it really works. I hope it does. <laughs> I hope it helps prep this teak. It's supposed to reduce the mill glaze and the gray that you get on aging teak. And then open up the pores so that when you apply the oil, the oil actually seeps in more readily and it gets, gets a better bond with the wood. All right, we got the, the Penafin prep. As I start talking, of course, they start grinding up there. These guys are the real, the real craftsmen. That stuff's incredible. All right, so we got the Penafin prep applied. We scrubbed it down with soap and water first. Then we applied the Penafin prep. We waited 20, 25 minutes, and then we rinsed it off. And now we just have to let all this dry till tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll come back and we'll start the application of some marine oil and see how it goes. So I'm just putting on the top edge of the tape, hoping that this lip that's hanging out will help keep the drips from going down onto the hole. All right, we've got the tape on and uh, at least on the, the front, like four fifths of the boat, I'll have to get on the dinghy and tape up the transom to do that. But yeah, I think we're ready to start applying some of the marine oil and get it on while we have a little bit of cloud cover. It's recommended that you don't apply it in the sun, but so we're just kind of counting on this marine layer to stay here today. All right, let's give it a go. Open, shook it up before. Fantastic. Okay, so the idea is, or at least so my idea is, I'm gonna 
dab it on, and then wipe off as I go to avoid too much drippage. Don't know how that's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a try and uh, see what happens. It's nice, it's just soaking it up. I'm gonna assume it's because we put the penifin prep on, the teak, or the, the hardwood prep, I believe is what it's called. So the pores are open and just ready to accept this oil. Wow, look at that. The color is just incredible. The knot on that wood right there is just beautiful. I feel like Bob Ross. Look at this. Happy, happy brown. These deliciously joyous wood grains. And then these little wooden bungs on the top of the tow rail. How beautiful. Wow, look at that, that's just gorgeous. Lehaw getting a little upgrade. Getting a little cosmetic upgrade. Looking good. I like the smell of it. Yeah, it's a nice smell. Yeah. It's, it's like, so satisfying. It's like, I know this isn't really doing anything for us, like structurally. I know. Or anything <laughs> it's like not that, anything we should be prioritizing, but. It looks great. It looks great. Well, I mean, it is good for the wood. So it's it not, is. It's and not it's, a waste. Yeah, it, and it's deteriorating. So if we don't start taking care of it ASAP, we're not going to have it. It's crazy though how that just sucks this stuff up. Yeah. It's like it's thirsty, you know? Yeah, it is thirsty. The instructions yeah. say too that you're not supposed to leave it like, uh, it shouldn't look like it's pooled on the surface. Okay. It should look like matte when we're done. And instead of, and if it's not, then just go back with a rag and just wipe off wipe the excess. Wipe off the excess, okay. Yep. Look at how nice it looks, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. So glad I came out to do this. I knew you'd like this. <laughs> yeah, I like it a lot. We do this three times or four times? Uh, you only need to do it three, it says. So if we can get it done twice, I'd be happy. And then like one more time in the summer and then do one like in October before the rains come. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> Look at how party. Looks good. So party. Ugh, gorgeous. Woohoo. Hug me. Hi. You. <laughs> we did it. We we applied the Penifin marine oil. It took, let's see, it took me about an hour to wash the boat. It took me about another maybe hour to put, apply the prep and then maybe another hour and a half to tape. Um, and then you got here a couple hours ago, so it took us like maybe two hours, two and a half hours to maybe. apply the marine yeah. oil. Um, it looks awesome. What do you think? I love it. It looks so good. It makes our boat not look so sad. It makes it look happy. Like I like the richness of the color. It really makes it look, uh, and you know, everybody knows Silver Teak hasn't been taken care of, and now it looks like somebody's taking care of this boat for one, so just feeling nice. good about it. Babe, say hi to your little friend. Thanks for watching this week's episode, and if you have made it to this point in the video, you know what is coming next. We have a fantastic website for you to check out with wonderful things, including our merch with our logo on it. You know, anything that you get of our merch, we put that money right back into the boat. And if you enjoy your merch and you love it as much as we do, take a picture of yourself, send it our way, and we'll add you to our merch hall of fame. It's so cool to see our merch or stickers out in the wild. Fair winds, and we'll see you in a few weeks.